everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing with some new products from Bite Beauty. So I heard the news through the grapevine that Bite Beauty was going to not only be making a foundation, but also a powder, and they were also going to be reformulating some things in their lines. I'm a big fan of Bite Beauty. They have natural ingredients in their products, and I absolutely adore their lipsticks. The Amuse Bouche lipsticks are some of my favorite formulas of lipstick. When I saw that they were coming out with these products, I knew that I had to have them, so I added them on my list to purchase. But as an amazing surprise to me, a package showed up on my doorstep from Influencer, my booze. They sent me the new products, so I didn't have to come out of my pocket to get them. So I've been testing them out, and so today I'm doing the review for you guys. So I have all of the new complexion products, so let's start off with the new primer first. So here's the box for the primer, and this is called the Change Maker Skin optimizing primer it comes in two different variations there's one for normal to dry skin and then there is one for normal to oily skin I have the one for normal to dry skin so here's what the primer looks like it comes in a squeeze tube and it has one fluid ounce of products and it retails for $38 the description for this primer says that it is a clean high-performance primer with skin optimizing technology to neutralize your skin type and grip foundation for flawless natural wear. So some of the ingredients in this primer are hyaluronic acid, which helps to hydrate the skin, olive oil, which again helps to hydrate the skin. And the last prominent ingredient is the maki berry, which is an antioxidant rich ingredient that helps nurture your complexion. Next, I have the powder, and this one is called the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. This retails for $36, and there are 7.5 grams of products in the container. So there are eight different colors of this powder, and I have the color M2, which stands for medium two. And M2 is for cool undertones for medium skin skin tones. Here's what the packaging looks like. It does come with a mirror and it snaps closed. And here's the powder. The description of this says that this is a clean talc free powder made with finely milled volcanic minerals to blur, mattify and touch up on the go. It says that this again has the maki berry and it has volcanic materials that help to blur, control, shine, and absorb impurities. And of course, I have the foundation. This is called the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. This retails for $39. 50. I haven't seen anybody add 50 cents in on makeup in so long. This has the standard one fluid ounce of products. So there are 32 different colors of this foundation and I have the color T100 which says that it is medium tan with a neutral undertone. And again, like the primer, this foundation comes in a squeeze tube bottle. The description for this says that it is a clean, long wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for a natural, flawless finish. It says that the coverage amount of this foundation is medium, the finish is natural, the formulation is liquid, and this is suitable for normal dry combination and oily skin types. And the last thing that Bite Beauty sent over is a new lip pencil. And I'm a huge fan of their lip pencils, but I think that they have redone them. And these are the new ones. So these are called the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. And these retail for $24 each. And they sent me the one in the color, oh, it's called Nonino. When I was doing the lip application, I had it upside down and I called it Oh Nino. It's called No Nino. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> I mean, you all are going to see I legitimately read it backwards. It's hilarious. <laughs> so here's what that looks like. And the top of it has the curve like their lipsticks do. So this color is described as a rosy mauve color. I have this on, but I also have on something else on top of it. If you guys want to know all of my makeup details, of course, I will have them down in the description box. But let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration. And then I'm going to do a wear test. And then I'll come back at the end of the night. We'll talk about how I feel about everything. But let me know if you all got your hands on any of these products. Were you as shocked as I was to see Bite Beauty coming out with complexion products? I'm like, okay. For forever, we've known them as a lip brands, but they're branching out. They're doing different things. So I'm excited to see how this is going to wear on camera for you guys because I've already tried it in real life, so I kind of already know what I think. Let's get into it, and I hope that you all enjoy. 
All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the products. As you all see, I already have my eyes pretty much done. I did go in with a little bit of concealer around my brows, but let's go in with the primer all over the rest of my face, more so in the center area. I'm just going to rub this in here. It feels like a lotion and just a little bit on my nose. Now let's go into the foundation and I'm shaking it up. And since it's not a pump, I'm just going to squirt just a little bit. And I have a sponge here and I have a brush. The brush is the Sonya Kashuk Buffing Foundation Brush. So I'm just dabbing it on the sponge and then I'm going to take it all around and dab it on my face. It has a little bit of a fragrance to it. I can't really place what this scent is. Okay, so far this is looking like this is going to be a good color match. So I'm just going to pounce this all over. I'm going to go in with the brush just to buff it out a little bit more. It's giving me a nice amount of medium buildable coverage. It's covering up imperfections, but yeah, I still see my skin through it. It smells like their lipsticks, how they have that lemony type smell. I'm going to go in with just a little dot more. So I'm just going to tap that there, cover up some of that redness. So I have the foundation applied and I think it looks really nice. It's giving me a natural everyday amount of coverage, medium buildable. Like I said, it covered up a good amount of my imperfections, although I do still see some of them. It is not full coverage. Some of my skin is peeking through, but that's okay because it looks really nice and balanced. I also like the color match. I think that T100 matches me really nicely. It's giving me just a little bit of color, which I need because in the wintertime, I can lose a bit of my caramelness and go into a little bit of beiginess. So I like to have just a little bit of color there. But I'm going to go in with my concealer and set that concealer with my regular Laura Mercier powder. And then I'm going to use the Bite Beauty powder on top of this and let's see what that does. So I'll be right back. So I have my concealer on and my concealer set. Plus I had to hit my eyes with some lashes because I felt like I needed them for some drama. So now let's test out the powder. So if you watch my channel, you know that I am a die-hard fan of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. That is my ride or die. I use it every single day. But I want to try this out just because I've asked for more powders to be made in the past. And it seems like it's starting to happen. So I'm open for change. This one is in the color medium 2. It looks like it'll be a pretty good match. But let's see what it's going to do. This is the Sonya G and Nochi Pro Brush. That is smooth looking. It's giving me a satin matte finish and it feels really nice on the skin. This powder with this brush feels very silky. So you all can see the powdered side versus the unpowdered side. The powder did add just a little bit more color, but it smoothed it out and it did give me a little bit more coverage. So I'm here for this side. I think it looks very nice and even and perfected, but still natural. So I think it looks really pretty. So all together, like I said, I think it looks really nice and soft and matte, but not too dry. And it feels very comfortable on the skin. Like I said, the color did change just a little bit. I'm not mad at that because I wanted everything to be a little bit more seamless and I feel like that powder just pulled it out together. I also have one of the new Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons and this one is in the color Oninen. Yeah, I can't find the pronunciation so it looks like Oninon. Oninon. Let's do it. I'm just going to do a little bit of that. While I love the formula of Bite Beauty's lip crayons, I feel like this particular color doesn't really match my look. So I'm just going to go in with Sugar Sugar Gloss by Marc Jacobs on top. Yeah, That's giving me the vibe that I want. So now let me finish off my look with bronzer, highlight, and blush. And I will be right back. We can talk about a few things. Overall, I think that my face looks really nice. My foundation is giving me a nice amount of coverage. I feel like I look everyday appropriate. I don't feel too made up. I don't feel like I don't have enough on my face. It's just right in the middle, which is perfect for a Thursday afternoon. Or is today Wednesday? Today is definitely Wednesday. <laughs> A Wednesday afternoon to run errands. So I really like the way that everything is looking. It looks very smooth. It looks radiant. But at the same time, it is a little bit more matte. But it doesn't look dry. So of course I'm going to do.
do a wear test. I'm going to take you guys with me throughout the day and I will do check-ins so you all can see what everything is looking like. Stay tuned for that and then at the end of the video, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. So, check you in a minute. So right now it is hour six. I think my makeup looks splotchy. So I feel like it is uneven in its coloring. I think that certain areas are a little bit more warm in tone than others. I think that my makeup looks a bit heavier because my oils have broken through. Like I said in my last check in, I am perspiring just to touch. While my makeup is still somewhat matte, it looks heavy. It looks like I can just kind of scratch it and take it off and I'm not a real big fan of that. Like like I said, I have worn these products before and around this time frame, I got about the same sort of results. With that being said, I don't think that my makeup looks horrible, but yeah, I just feel like it could look better. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'll check back in in a few more hours and let you guys see what everything looks like at the end of the night. But for now, this is what we're working with. Still pretty matte, a little bit heavier, about a shade and a half darker. So it has now been 10 hours and I'm ready to come back and let you guys know my final thoughts on everything and as you all can see I look just a little bit rough. I have on a shirt that I'm lounging in. I didn't feel like combing my hair like I am just chilling. I've had a long day, but I've had a good day, but I have done a lot of things, so this makeup has had time to be worn, and that it has done. So, you guys see what my face looks like. I do foundation reviews all of the time, so you can kind of gauge what my foundation normally looks like, and you can tell whether or not it would be a foundation for you, because you know what I look like around this time, because this is about the time that I wear my other foundations. But I just feel like this foundation didn't hold up as well as I wanted it to. This is a medium coverage foundation, an everyday type foundation, and I did everyday type things. So I expected this foundation to really not feel as heavy or look as heavy as it does. But when I initially applied this foundation, it went on like medium coverage. It didn't feel too heavy on the skin. When I applied the powder on top, it locked it in. It gave me a really beautiful matte satiny type finish. But then four hours later, my oil started to break through and that's when I started to see the oxidation. And that is also when I started to feel the products on my skin. My skin felt heavy. It felt like I just wanted to kind of wash it off. But you all know I was out at that time so I didn't really have the ability to do that. Plus I'm doing a full on wear test for you guys so I don't want to do that and compromise the study. But if I had not been doing this video, I may have taken a wipe and just wiped it off and just said I don't want it on my skin just because it feels so heavy and it feels that way even more so now. This foundation transfers a good amount, a little bit more than I would expect it to, especially since it was more matte towards the beginning of the day. So I'm not overly impressed with the way that my makeup looks. I feel like my makeup looks pretty thick. I feel like it's a lot darker. And today I have my shoulders out. So as the foundation deepened, it just made it even more apparent because my shoulders are so much lighter than my face is. And if I'm being honest, I don't really see myself reaching for this foundation again simply because I have other Others that offer the same amount of coverage but I prefer the finish and I prefer the way that they wear a little bit more so this one is not just one that I feel like I need to have it's not the worst foundation that I've ever tried but it's definitely not the best because I have other foundations in this category that perform just a lot better and this one is just so par as far as the powder though I've been wanting more powder foundations and setting powders I did like that powder if I were going for a more mattified look but I feel like the color that I have is just a little bit too light and I mean just on the cusp of being too light but since this powder is so lightweight and it doesn't offer too much coverage I can get away with it but I can already tell that if I put too much of this powder on it can make my skin look a bit ashy because this does have a little bit of a beigey undertone to it and that doesn't always translate well on my complexion because I have a golden complexion Overall, I think the powder is nice, but it is just a little bit of a drier powder. So I think this is better suited for people who have oily skin. 
And as far as the primer, I really like the primer, but it is definitely for who it is intended for. So if you have normal to dry skin, get the normal to dry skin one. Don't try to get the oily one. And if you have the normal to oily skin, I have not tried that one, but I presume that one is going to give you a little bit more oil controlling properties than this one does. This one is for sure intended for people who have normal or more so dry skin like it says because this for me it added a little bit too much slip so that's why I didn't use that much in the application as you guys saw I just used the smallest amount just to have a little bit of hydration right here because right now my skin is a little bit drier so I can use that right now but in the summertime I wouldn't reach for this primer at all because it's a little bit too emollient and it provides too much hydration for my skin which I have combination skin and I typically get oily right in here but since it's colder outside I really don't even get that that much so I'm more so just normal right now but I have a little bit of dryness on my cheek area but I do think this primer is good just get the one that is based for your skin type and as always Bite does a phenomenal lip product. I love their lip crayons. I've always loved them. But because they formulate everything with natural ingredients, I did notice that these do go bad a little bit faster than some of my other lip products. So don't get these and just hoard them. Get them and use them if you do plan on purchasing some. I hope that this video helps anybody who is wanting to try out these products. If you're looking for some new complexion products, hopefully I help you make a decision. I would definitely go in store swatch the products for yourself see if there's something that you would want to add to your arsenal so let me know what you all think about it down in the comment section and I will check you out in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye